outburst on two-way woman is now charged with a hate crime in connection with an attack on the owner of a beauty supply store. Keandra Young is one of two customers accused of assaulting Jung Kim on St. Patrick's Day. KPRC 2's Annie Sirota just spoke with the store's owner's son about this new development in the case. Surveillance video from March 17th shows beauty supply store owner Jung Kim being punched in the face repeatedly by a customer who she says was hurling racial insults at her. Asian. Like, you little Asian girl. That's what she remember. Dakeisha Williams and Keandra Young, the two women charged in the attack, say they were being profiled, claiming Kim followed them and their friends when they went inside the store. Pentagon says drone strike that killed 10 in Afghanistan was a mistake. Seven children were among those killed in the August 29th strike. The findings of the military inquiry mirrored our investigation published earlier this month. So let me get this straight. You somehow managed to accidentally kill 10 people with a drone strike. That's like saying I accidentally stabbed someone 52 times. I don't think that's possible. You have to really go out of your way to f*** up that hard. Are you serious? Is this just how things are now? Whoopsie doodles, I dropped a bomb on people. I'm in a smaller school, only two main bathrooms. Every single soap dispenser has been stolen because of TikTok. Look, I'll be honest, at the beginning of this trend, it was kind of funny to see people take soap dispensers or toilet paper dispensers or whatever from the bathroom, because it's kind of funny, all right? You're stealing wacky from your school, I get that. But I also acknowledge how destructive this has become. It's not just taking soap dispensers anymore. It's stealing laptops, buses, all sorts of crappy stuff have been done in schools in the past two weeks and it's become way more than what the trend was supposed to be, which we all should have known was gonna happen. We all knew someone was going to take it too far. And unfortunately for this smaller school, they have no means of washing their hands. Scorned wife raids ex-husband's cryogenics lab, stealing frozen brains of people who what? No, you, you can't just break into a cemetery and steal people's brains to hope to bring them back to life. That's just mental illness. What is wrong with you? This is some, like, TV shit. No way did this actually happen. No way is this real. Serious question, though. When she stole all these random people's brains, did they just thaw in her backseat? What did she do with them? It, what was her plan? I don't want... What? Nestle says slavery reporting requirements could cost customers. Australia's government has proposed to make it mandatory for big businesses to report on how they're combating modern slavery. Oh no, my Nestle Crunch Bar is going to be $2 more expensive, all because the person who collected my chocolate wasn't a child slave. I think consumers would be more than willing to spend the extra money if they knew that their chocolate was sustainably made and cultivated. This isn't about customers. This is about you and your bottom line, Nestle. Okay, so I'm only going to put up the picture. We have a guy and a syringe. I really want you guys to honestly guess what the article title is and what this guy did. Go ahead, go into the comments. I'll give you a few seconds. You got it? You guessed it? Okay, I bet you're wrong because man jailed after stabbing woman with a syringe filled with his semen in a supermarket. I never thought I would ever put those words together in that way and have to read it to an audience of 467,000 people. How did the fucker put it into the syringe? Did he spoon it in? Did he bust into the syringe and really go out of his way to be like, who, who am I gonna jab it with? Apple announces a swipe keyboard for the new Apple Watch just after removing Flick Swipe, a swipe keyboard app for the Apple Watch from the App Store. Utility apps on the App Store are just free ideas for Apple. All they have to do is see what's popular and just emulate it. And good luck trying to sue Apple. They hit a trillion dollars a few years back. You really think you're gonna win that lawsuit? Silicon Valley companies can consistently do this because they know that they're untouchable. Apple specifically has been doing this consistently with all of their apps that are either on their phone or on the watch. It's ridiculous. If anything, we all know that imitation is the finest form of flattery. So uh, you can go to sleep at night knowing that you made a product that is worth copying by Apple. If that makes you feel any better. Oh my God, hashtag the worst thing I've done part one. I had dated this guy for some years and deep within me wanted to marry him. He loved me too, but he wasn't sure whether or not to settle down. We were both ready to settle and spend the rest of our lives together, however, he was being unreasonable. Then my intuition drew my attention to a certain sudden changes. He was chatting slash seeing another girl, a very pretty lady. My chances with him were becoming slim, so I drugged his drink one night at home with ketamine, uh, and I had as much unprotected rides sex with him as I could and then cleaned him up. The moment he woke up, I left his place, I got pregnant, and knowing him, 
he went right ahead to do the right thing to ask for my hand in marriage because he didn't want to raise a child outside of marriage we've done eight years already as husband and wife i love the way he treats me as his wife i love the way he treats his kids i love the way that he loves me he calls me so many times a day to check on me and he helps me cook clean and train the kids he allows me so much time to rest look i get it what i did may have been wrong but it got me the result i needed and it brought out the best in him too. I love my husband and I will do anything to make him realize that. Did this bitch really just say that she f***ed this dude and said it was good for him? She assaulted this guy and said it brought the best out of him. This delusion is unmatched by anything else in this video so far. This is crazy. The fact that she really went out of her way to say this. Oh, I just gave him some ketamine and now we're a happy family. God forbid he finds this. God forbid he finds out. He, he should rightfully so send you to prison. All of us should find out who you are and send you under the f***ing jail. You ever just go out of your way to destroy a bathroom with absolute vodka and what it looks like protein powder? I don't know what the story is behind this photo, but OP just said that he walked into a bathroom, a public bathroom, and found it like this, completely fucked up. Could you imagine being the worker who has to be responsible for cleaning up this mess? Every other day just showing up to someone absolutely destroying the bathroom? It costs you nothing to just be a sensible human and not fuck something up for somebody else to clean. Right after my husband and I got married, I received a message from our wedding photographer saying that my mother-in-law had reached out to her and was requesting access to the whole wedding photo album. Um, and we were like, yeah, no, don't give her access to that. That seems weird. Like we already gave her the family photos. We gave her the wedding photos. She should be good. Um, turns out the reason she wanted to go over our heads and directly to the wedding photographer was because she wanted to go through all of our wedding photos and handpick out all of the photos from our wedding that included her or her and her husband or her and her side of the family and my husband she didn't want a single photo that included the bride um and so my thought is she just wanted a free professional photo shoot where she was wearing a ball gown and her son was all handsome and she wasn't going to say that he ever got married she was just going to pretend it was some other formal event uh because after that she never did post that he got married never shared a single photo and uh in fact the only time she ever mentioned her son was married was when she was calling me her daughter-in-law a narcissist who stole her son Famous YouTuber deletes her channel after being caught coaching her son how to cry on camera. Everyone and their mother has seen this video. And if you haven't, don't worry, I'm going to put it up right after this. But seriously, this is some deplorable shit. Could you imagine being this mother? Could you imagine being this callous and this sociopathic to go out of your way and cause your child to cry and then position him and tell him to hold a face for a thumbnail image? I wouldn't be surprised that home life for this kid is hell. If this is what it's like in a car for a stupid video, what is it like behind closed doors when the camera's off and when nobody's aware of what she's doing to him? I'm gonna show you the clip that she accidentally uploaded onto her channel, and then I'm gonna show you the subsequent clip after that of her responding to all of the hate and all of the fucking backlash. Like she's somehow a victim in all of this shit. I love you guys. <laughs> come here, come closer for the video, come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Put your head, put your head right here. Come closer. Act like you're crying. Really quick. I am crying. Go like this. No, I'm not that bad. She's usually crying. No, I know, but go like this for the video. Go like this. Put one hand up. Go like this. No, go like this. Put your hand like this. But let them see your mouth. Let them see your mouth. I don't know, Mama. I'm actually crying. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Look at me, look at me. I'm actually crying. I know, look at me, look at me. Look at the camera, look at the camera. learn and grow and make amazing decisions in the future for myself and the well-being of Christian. So that is why my DMs are off for today. Also, I want to say, and I don't want to fucking come on here crying or act like I want sympathy or anything. I don't want any of that. I'm so disappointed in myself and I have never been this upset with myself or disappointed or had this much anxiety over people messaging me death threats and things about christian that are so past the level of cyberbullying and harassment that i've ever experienced in my life i'm taking the day two days three days whatever off social media to prioritize myself and christian i fucked up so fucking bad and i'm so upset with myself and i am being 
in, as hard as possible on myself and dealing with this in private. And that is why my comments are off for the extreme bullying and harassment and me being worried at this current moment for my and Christian's safety. So that's why the comments are off. If you want to see my longer explanation on the podcast. That had to be one of the worst apologies I've ever seen because she never took responsibility for anything. Oh, I'm not trying to play the victim. And then Mealy talks about how she's being cyber bullied. Oh, people are giving me anxiety. Oh my gosh, people are upset at me for doing something fucked up. Yes. You're just mad and upset that you got caught. You made the mistake of uploading this really crappy video onto your channel and you've irreparably destroyed not only your career, but maybe even the reputation of your child. He's gonna have to go to school. He's gonna have to talk to people who will remember this moment forever. Oh, were you the kid who was getting coached by their mom to cry on, you know, on camera for a fucking thumbnail? He's never gonna outrun that. That's gonna be his life. That's on the internet forever. So your feelings and your anxiety about this entire situation that's encouraging you to take a break off of social media because you need to handle this personally falls on deaf ears. You deserve all of the backlash you're getting right now. You're just mad and upset that you got caught. And you know what's remarkable about that entire fake apology? The fact that the layers of fucking caked on makeup that you have on wasn't running with your tears. So were you really crying? Who knows? It could have been all for the camera. Maybe you're just trying to get the heat off of you, but you're shitty and I hope you always feel shitty. Direct from Nestle Chairman, water is not a human right, it should be privatized. I don't quite remember how old this quote is, but I'll never forget it because he said it so matter of fact. He genuinely thinks that all water should be bottled or at least owned by a private entity and sold to the general public. The most abundant resource on the planet that is needed in order for you to survive, in order for you to live, must be owned by a corporation and then dispersed by said corporation. That's his worldview. Oh no, not that vegan teacher. Oh shit. When the Twin Towers came down, many animal eaters died. Was this a good thing or a bad thing? She posted this on the 20th anniversary of 9-11. No thought to whether or not this was actually something worth arguing. She genuinely just posted this. This is what she believes. I don't want to watch her video because I want to give her a review. God forbid I support this woman and her delusions. But just that ratio should telegraph to her that her ideas and her worldview is spastic as hell. I'm out here at a house today doing an occupancy check. And uh, obviously they've moved out. They're completely gone. Plus some furniture behind, but guess what? They took all the kitchen appliances with them. The fridge, the stove, and guess what else they took? The freaking furnace and water heater. And wait, there's more. They even stole the air conditioner unit. <laughs> Maskless Karen, who coughed all over grocery store customer and viral video, is identified as an employee of an IT giant SAP and gets fired. Look, wear a mask if you want, wear a mask if you don't, I don't care. But what is fucked up is the fact that she went out of her way to cough on someone. I don't know why that's the thought process. I mean, I get that you don't want to wear a mask. Why do you have to go out of your way to be gross like that? That's nasty. And ironically, if she was coughing on people and being gross with a mask on, people probably wouldn't know what she looked like and she would still probably have her job. <laughs> Baltimore police officers carry BB guns to plan on unarmed suspects they shot. Court hears. Baltimore never disappoints in the wackiness that happens in that city. Seriously, anything can go down there. Just the other video we were talking about a woman who had dead children stashed in two bags in the back of her car. The only other city that I can think of that rivals Baltimore in the level of crazy is Jacksonville, Florida. Hey, happy birthday! Belated birthday! It's your belated birthday, right? No. Belated birthday? Who, who the fuck are you, bro? <laughs> hey, just take the cake, man. What the fuck is you, bro? Look, just take the cake for your lovely wife and everything, huh? You like it? Bro, what the like fuck, that bro? Shit. Fuck you, like that shit. Hey, yo, bro. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Hey, if you want to be devious and teach the owners that the dog should not be outside, do like I did to a dog owner that used to let his dogs out in the morning before they went to work and the dogs would knock over my trash and go through it. I left a small ball of peanut butter with some x lax in it in the trash can. The owners let their dog inside and a few hours later the dogs coated the house in wet dog feces. Mission accomplished. They never let their dogs out unsupervised again. Might want to toss said ball of peanut butter into their yard when they're barking with said surprise inside. Ah, so you poisoned your neighbor's dog. You know if you give a dog too many laxatives, they might shit themselves to death, right? 
because a laxative, it releases all of the water in your system. You're going to become dehydrated. And if you don't drink any water because you're a dog and you don't know any better because you don't know what's going on, you might die. You do know you committed a crime, right? If your neighbors find out about this stupid story you just put online, they can sue you. They can take you to court. They can press charges. Maybe instead of poisoning your neighbor's dog, why not knock on your neighbor's door and have a conversation with them about their dog going through your trash? Strike a middle ground, make some compromises. In my opinion, that's a better way of actually handling this problem instead of committing attempted murder against somebody else's animal. Mom. That's okay. I don't care. You leave me alone. Me you want. I don't want proof of this. Please yeah, leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Leave me alone. Please. Just, just talk to me for two minutes and I'll leave you alone. Oh my god. Just it's too damn early for this shit. What? Leave me alone. How do you dress like this? What? what are, you, are you a prostitute? I'm curious. What? Sir, please what leave. Woman beats men in rap battles so they and set her on fire and shoot her. What? I'm glad they all got caught. I, I guess that's the only positive thing that could result from any of this, is that all three of these monsters got caught. I would typically in this situation ask, what's the thought process? What's the motive? I don't think that's necessary. Sometimes you just can't find a reason. You can't find an explanation for degenerate criminality like this. These people just wanted to commit violence against someone else and they finally had a reason. My sister lost her hand a couple weeks ago in a horrific riding mower rollover accident and her pieces of shit neighbors put up a fake severed hand and lawnmower blade yesterday to mock her. Jesus, why? Even if they were beefing, let's say there was an argument, let's say that there was bad blood between her and her neighbor, this is just extra personal this is so past the point of i don't like you they had to go out of their way to plan for something like this they had to find a severed hand find a lawnmower blade and then position it in a way for her to see it we're missing a few chapters we need to know why they feel this way this is past the point of personal this is some deep shit. this next clip is a first for this video series this video shows some instant karma <laughs> oh oh a young woman in Texas who beat murder charges last year in the shooting death of a 20 year old woman with disabilities is now wanted by police after allegedly breaking into a couple's suburban Houston home, dousing them with liquid, and setting them ablaze. How the fuck did she jump the first charges? What lawyer did she have? I'm sure that judge is feeling a little bit foolish for being convinced that this woman, this grown woman, is somehow not a threat to society. It's seriously tragic that she wasn't behind bars because an innocent couple was set on fire for it. This isn't certainly the norm. Most people don't dodge or beat murder charges, but any time that someone does, it always leads up to something like this. I have yet to come across a story of someone beating murder charges and not subsequently killing someone else a few years or a few months down the line because they were almost certainly guilty for the previous crime, but somehow they had a magical lawyer, a magical jury, and a really bad judge come to the decision to let them walk free. This is a clip of Indian bakery workers licking and stomping on food before putting it into the box. <laughs> I 
Okay, so this next post is a little bit graphic. Uh, nothing insane, but it is difficult to look at. Uh, if you don't want to see anything like that, feel free to skip to this time. And uh, yeah, let's just jump into it. Police officer by the name of Dan Shisha, who was attacked with sulfuric acid, concentrated on his face by a wife over a little argument, finally forgives his wife and drops the constitutional charges labeled against her. He is now an activist on domestic violence, though he lost his sight completely. A lot of people sleep on the domestic violence that is acted upon men. People really think that just because you're with a woman, she can't harm you. If you're taller than her, if you're stronger than her, what can she do to really harm you in a relationship? You could just leave, you could fight back. There's all sorts of excuses, but let's be real here. I'm certain that he loved her and he didn't want to hurt her. And when she attacked him, I'm certain that she didn't give him a heads up. It was definitely a surprise. Nobody prepares for acid in the face. Sometimes I really wish that the same sympathy afforded to women in domestic violence cases are afforded to men because we can get hurt too. We can be battered too. Domestic violence is domestic violence, and the fact that there isn't a lot of resources for guys right now is really sad. I like that he's become an activist against it. We need more men like him to fight on the behalf of other men who can't fight for themselves, and that's extremely laudable. Hey, so I really hate doing videos like this. Uh, I got a call from someone I've never done business before about doing a bed bug treatment. Um, this stuff in this house is completely infested. Terrible, terrible bed bugs. Scale of 1 to 10, it's like a 7. I told the guy, I was like, all this furniture, man, you gotta get all this out if you wanna do a treatment in here. Uh, long story short, I showed up today. This guy, instead of getting maintenance to throw all of it in a dumpster or pay someone to remove it, he said, fuck it, I'm gonna donate all of it to charity. Uh, look how bad this stuff is. Here's like a little couch or something. And, uh, all these are bed bugs. Um, all the shells, when they get so big, they, they shed their set shells. So all that white stuff you see, those are eggs. Uh, luckily, I got here this morning. I just pulled up, and there was a church outside starting to load stuff up. And uh, I was like, your guy's not going to this unit. And they're like, yeah, we, you know, got uh, some stuff to pick up. We're going to take it to a single mom. And I was like, oh, my God. I cannot believe this dude was, was going to try to do this. Um literally was about to donate all this furniture um to a single mom and a couple kids this church was actually going to scoop it up from here and take it right over um so just look how bad this is and this guy knew they had a problem but he he really didn't give a fuck he just wanted to get that little tax exempt to donate this not even that but even little kids teddy bear what a fucking slumlord so the people from the church were younger kids. They didn't know what they were looking at. Um, they had like some stuff load up. I said, throw that shit in the parking lot. You don't want any of this. So they just left. Uh, I'm actually going to wait around for the actual guy who I've talked to to show up today. He should be here around 11-ish. Um, and if he's the big boss and he decided to do this, man, I'm going to blast this place on everything. That's a fucking terrible thing to do. Um, donate this stuff and it's going to someone in need. Ima imagine that. Um, but, uh, if it's like I'm just a manager person, I'm going up to whoever owns this place and they, they don't need to work here. They don't need to even be in this business. What a terrible thing to do. So, um, yeah, you gotta be careful when you get stuff, you know, especially from Goodwill, Salvation Army, other stuff like that, because places donate because they get a little, um, tax exempt little thing for making a donation. People come get it for free. So, oh, well, at least I found it quick before they cleared it all out before I got here. So this is a picture of my neighbors throwing trash off their balcony instead of just throwing it into the dumpster. They do this regularly. You see, the best way to combat something like this is gather up all the trash, put it into a bag, find their balcony, and yeet that bitch. Have it bust across the door, hit a window, do something, and just run away. You see, they'll learn quickly that for every time they throw trash, there's going to be violence brought against their house. This man asks his Uber driver to slow down and go the speed limit on the freeway, and she freaks out. You know, I'm just trying to ask you to go the speed limit as well. I'm saying I'm going to go. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Well, you got to. Hey, you're going to you're gonna have to open that trunk. I'm not going anywhere until you open that trunk. Nope. You're gonna have to get my bag out of your car. I just want my I just want my bag, man. 
That's all I want is my bag. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Me too. <laughs> that just happened to me. Please share $500 reward. My dog is missing. I left Stanley with a friend while out of town and he got out of the yard in Idaho. This dog is family to me. He has a collar on with his name and my number and he loves to greet everyone he sees. He's been gone since August 21st, 1 p.m. and he's so friendly. If you think you see him, please let me know. I will update once he's found. Currently still missing. Update, the person caring for my sweet dog shot him in the head and he and his brother put him in the river. Thank you all for your help. I'm sorry to share this dramatic ending. We are heartbroken. Hell of a friend, huh? So you trust your dog to someone that you think would care for them like their own pet, and instead they shoot him and drown him. The level of beatdown and crimes that I would commit against this person would be immeasurable. If I found out that the person who I trusted my dog to killed my dog, I, I will do everything short of killing them. It's going to be a serious beatdown. I'm talking full tilt knuckles, blind in both eyes, fingers bent backwards. You're going to have to yank me off. I'm going to do everything possible to make you feel an iota of the pain that you brought against my best friend. This next clip is of a woman using exercise as punishment against her five-year-old son because he won't settle down in class. My five-year-old doesn't want to listen in school where he makes disruptive noises, doesn't listen, thinks that he doesn't need to settle down when he comes from the playground. We're gonna run. And we're gonna run at 104 degrees. <laughs> this is the first time we're gonna run for his sad faces that he gets at school. And he thought we were just gonna run to the mailbox. So he took off running, sprinting. Now he's dying. We gonna behave in school? We're not gonna hit, we're not gonna spank, we're gonna discipline, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Now this announcement email that I'm about to read to you is from a manager. Keep that in mind. Hope you're all resting. You're to clock out in POS every break or stepping away. Any personal matters, including going to the bathroom, smoke, or from a busy rush, you must clock out. We'll no longer compensate anyone who is not doing work-related matters. Ask for clarification if need be. Evening, it's a minute you have to go to the bathroom to take care of personal doings. Employment is at will. All personal conversation, I will object you on it. Time to lean, time to clean, and doing something. I go put my sign away. We both know where you park, and we all know and see my beautiful sign. Sweet dreams, and thank you all. Wow, this manager emailed all their employees at night about something petty like this? Okay, you must clock out if you have to take a shit. Are you serious? God forbid you're sick and you need to use the bathroom, or you're a woman and you need to use the bathroom. Could you imagine being on your period and you're like, oh shit, I gotta handle this, and you have to clock out to go handle yourself? This is absolutely ridiculous. As soon as I would get an email like this, I'm quitting. It's not a good workspace to know that I can't earn an extra dollar taking a shit because you are so cheap. It's really mind boggling that my bowel movements are fucking up your bottom line. You ever just fake having a seizure on a packed train? My daughter volunteers at the Baltimore Zoo doing conservation work. On Saturday, she helped restore a wetland in Baltimore. Today, she was teamed up with kids who do customer service. One of those things that those kids have to do is remind people to put on a mask when they're near the monkeys. 
Those girls told me that they got screamed at by so many people for it. People screaming and swearing at 14 and 18 year old kids who are enforcing the rules that the customer agreed to when they bought the ticket. If you scream at a 14 year old volunteer, you certainly suck. Look, if you seriously don't want to wear a mask, why are you chewing out a kid? Can't you just walk away from the 14 year old? Aren't you an adult? You don't have to address children. You can just walk away. You don't have to embarrass yourself in front of a bunch of people because you're having a shouting match with a child. And I don't like that they say 18 year old kid. You're not a kid if you're 18, you're a grown ass person. But the argument still stands. Seriously, if you're getting chewed out by teenagers for wearing something and you don't wanna wear it and you're grown, just ignore them. I don't know why you're having a shouting match with kids. And it seems like this rule only applies with the monkeys. So if you seriously don't wanna wear a mask, get away from the monkeys. We're starting a rumor that we had an abortion and that it was somebody else's on my team's baby. She cheated on me, then we had an abortion to hide it. They put a fucking hanger on the ball to say that we had an abortion. Alright? I'm fucking with it. If you want to kick me out of here, I don't give a shit. I'm gonna fucking kill somebody. I can say that. They put a fucking hanger on the ball saying we had an abortion. We had a fucking miscarriage. You pieces of shit. All of you are fucking guilty of being a part of this shit. Joking about fucking miscarriages, you piece of shit. A lot of people think coronavirus is caused by 5G, like these idiots who cut down phone lines to a vital healthcare provider. I absolutely love the 5G conspiracy theories. I love talking to people who believe in this stuff. The level of crazy that they are is so just entertaining. Please, I implore everybody watching this video right now, if you're talking to someone and they bring up 5G conspiracy theories, don't like agree with them. Just encourage them to tell you their rationale and their justifications for their beliefs and you're going to have a very very fun time laughing but it's a it's a tightrope you can't make fun of them you gotta just let them talk and it's all personal enjoyment and entertainment seriously felton 54 beat his 12 year old grandson to death with a hammer for 90 minutes after finding money missing from his wallet Okay, I'm glad that he's in prison. Can we get a sledgehammer and take that to his skull for 90 minutes? Matter of fact, scratch that. Let's do him like the Italians did Mussolini and flatten the fuck out of his face. Pennsylvania teacher's aide shoots herself in front of 14-year-old boy she was accused of sexually assaulting. She secretly met up with him while out on bail when his family found out and called the police. So the long and short of it was that she got caught by the police after the family called, and instead of going to jail, she chose to take out a gun and blow her brains out. Now, I'm a little conflicted about this story. In a lot of ways, I'm glad that she shot herself, but I also wish she didn't because that child had to view that. Now he's even more traumatized than... He was in the beginning after she assaulted him so what i'm really getting at here is that if she was planning on committing suicide the entire time she should have done that privately you know i would have more respect for her then you know just a touch more if she really swallowed a hot rock behind closed doors 21 year old man dies while shielding his one year old son from a random gunman visiting miami gunman told police that he was high on shrooms and felt empowered could you imagine just how scary that was someone running up on you and your family with a gun and you have to make a decision he sacrificed his life for his son, which is more than laudable. His son will be alive to remember his father and keep him alive in that way. And this dude's going to remain alive in jail for some reason. The fact that he isn't dead is a miscarriage of justice, in my opinion. This woman is without a life partner. She lost him in moments. She's a single mother. She's a widow. All because you felt empowered because you were fucked up on some shrooms? This final post is a serious reminder that all it takes is one person to absolutely destroy your life. All it takes is one moment for everything to change for you. And this monster was the arbiter of that change. One decision to take drugs led to a family being destroyed. What's up everyone, it's your boy Aileris, aka Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, let me know in the comments down below, and leave a like if you liked the video, and if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe fam. What you doing watching videos and not subscribing, and if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you get these notifications every time. We're doing another big Panda Bomb, I'm dropping a ton of content on you this week, 14 videos in total, so I hope you're ready now, I hope you're gonna enjoy all of it. Uh, I really like doing this, I like putting all the content at the end of the month, give you guys something really easy to binge and watch. So yeah, if you guys like this type of upload schedule, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, I gotta thank the Patreon supporters that make content like this possible. A big thank you to Viva LaRue, witty username, I didn't bot my views true, Julian Pullman, Benny's Big Bean Burrito, 
Danny Wanny has a big fanny, Spunky Funky Monkey Chunky Chunky, Tinky Winky Nobby Wobby, Oopanoot, Nicked, Cameron, D4C, My Name to Knee, Kiri the Sloth, Lady Laughs a Lot, Mina the Swift, Esau, Izuku, Destroyer, Trey, Muppy Lou Who, Noah, Vermont, John Robinson, Eva, Catherine, Taylor, Hannah, and Will Billy. Thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description. One of my merch store and one of my Patreon. Both funds go directly into the channel so we can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty.